Hello everyone, today in this tutorial I am going to teach you how you can set up a Node.js application on cPanel or Direct Admin Hosting. So before starting this tutorial, big thanks to Ustable for providing us the hosting and domain name, more about them later in the video. So before buying hosting, make sure that your hosting provider support Node.js application, no matter if it's cPanel, Direct Admin or any other panel. Since I am using Ustable Cloud Hosting, it has Node.js application support so I can easily deploy any Node.js application including a Discord board. They provide hosting with great hardware at a very cheap price and if you want to buy you can use our coupon code autcoder to get additional 10% discount. So at first log into your control panel I am using here direct admin panel but if you are using cPanel don't worry both are almost similar in terms of UI and user. So from the direct admin panel I am going to create a subdomain for my Node.js application. You can also use your root domain if you want. To create a subdomain go to subdomain manager and in cPanel its name just subdomain. So once you are on this page click on add subdomain and give a name to your subdomain. After that click add subdomain. After creating your subdomain come back to the dashboards home page and go to set up a Node.js app from extra features. From here click on create application. Now write your subdomain or root domain and that you want to use for your node.js app into the application root and select the subdomain or root domain from the application url then write your startup file name into the application startup file startup file is basically the file which is used for start your application for example if you run any project with node index.js command then index.js is your startup file if you don't have any startup file and you want to run your project with commands like npm start or npm run and npm deployment so don't worry i will show you later in the video how you can do that so my startup file name is server.js so now from the node.js version i am going to select the 14.20.1 version and if you want to change the application mode from development to production you can change it from here after that hit create it might take 10 to 20 seconds to create depending on your hosting configuration so once it created let's go to our file manager and open the folder with the name of your subdomain uh, you will find Find that folder in your root directory. Now delete all the files from this folder. After that, upload your Node.js project files. After uploading done, go to set up Node.js app once more and click on the pencil option of that project you created before. Now scroll down and click run npm install. After all the package got installed, you can run commands like npm start, npm run from the run js script button. Since I have my startup file added, I am going to restart the application. So restarting is done, let's open our subdomain. Seems like we are getting some errors. Don't worry, this is not an error. This is the default files that are automatically generated when you create a subdomain. To delete those files, you have to open your root domain folder. After that, open your subdomain folder from there and delete everything excluding .htaccess file. So after deleting all the files, let's restart our subdomain. As you can see, our Node.js application working fine. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to check out Ustable, link given in the description box below. Have a nice day.